Hello everyone, my name is Grace Ogeoke, the number one Jewish self advocate and also a long reach ambassador. But that's a story for another day. You see, those who know me well know that I'm a strong advocate for everyone, especially the youth, to go learn a useful skill. Trust me, a skill can come through for you in many ways. And if you put it to practice, that's another benefit for you. And in today's video, I'm going to show and enlighten you about the different chemicals you will need to produce your beauty, your sanitary and cleaning products. I have here with me over 20 chemicals. But, be but before we dive into that, let me emphasize on why you need to learn a useful skill today. You see, there's something about the white people I like a lot, and that is how they can do so many things by themselves. Maybe it's because they love to save money when they can. See, a white woman knows how to do many things in her home. She can make disinfectant for herself, body wash, body spray, toilet cleaner, different food recipes, even in the baking aspect of it. That's a white woman thing. Also a white man, he knows how to fix car issues, he can do plumbing work in his house, electrical issues in his home, he's there. But most of us here in Nigeria, we buy virtually everything. Some people just love to buy, buy, buy and buy. Some even see it as high class. Well, for most of our men here in Nigeria, take for example, if their cats pause, the next thing you're hearing is call change. If you have plumbing issue in the house, you're hearing call shame immediately. What about electrical issues? They say call Isaac, he's good at it. Now listen, here's something I want you to do for me. Sir, you mean after this video, write down all the things you buy often. How many of them can you make or produce yourself? After the checklist, make sure you do something about it. Now let me tell you something. There are lots of benefits of producing and making things yourself. And these benefits include... 1. It can save you money, which we all know is never enough. So if you can learn a skill that can save you money, what exactly is stopping you? 2. Doing things yourself can make you money. You see, most times, when you have a skill, you may take it for granted, but many people out there want to learn that skill you have. You can charge a fee and teach people around you. You can even package a training and sell it online. 3. A useful skill can grant you favor and open doors with important people. Only recently, some persons from Abia State contacted me to come and train women on skills acquisition because they saw my video online. Don't underestimate where such opportunities can lead you to. 4. Another benefit of having a skill and doing things yourself is the ability to naturally pass on the skills and diligence to your children or relations if you have little children in the house. Like myself, I'm a mother of three boys. And don't forget that these little ones are watching as you go about producing or making different things. I'm a mother of three boys. And children will naturally be imbibing the spirit of doing. My second son will always say, Mommy, I want to do chemical. Mommy, I want to do chemical. And before you know it, they will actually naturally grow up with such benefits in their lives. And you know that this benefit will help our children greatly, especially if they learn from you, their parents or loved ones. So whether you're a civil servant, you work in the private sector, you're self-employed, or you could even be a student, a housewife or a retiree who is still strong and looking for a business to do. Most especially to those who are unemployed or underemployed. You could learn it from you. Learning is a lifelong affair. Learn a skill today, especially the one that meets the criteria I just talked about. So dear friend, wherever you're watching me from, I want to commend you because I know you want to know, isn't it? If not, you won't be watching me right now. With that being said, now let's dive into how to know how production chemicals, their uses and function. Please bear in mind that one of the first things you need to do when working with chemicals is to exercise safety precautions. You see, during your productions, you need to wear your gloves, as you can see here, and your face mask. 
Please, may I also add that while some of these chemicals you see here have pungent, strong smell, others actually smell like beverages and even look like salt or sugar. But let me warn you, please, never attempt to taste any of them or keep them within the reach of children. The chemical on our list today is sodium hydroxide, popularly called caustic soda. You can see it looks like sugar in line with what I told you earlier. You see, what I have in my hands here is 1 over 4 kg of caustic soda which is like sharing 1 kg into 4 equal parts. Actually, this goes for 150 naira in my area. You see, caustic soda is a stain removing and thickening agent, which is used in some productions like liquid soap, bar soap, even your bleach, and some other productions. Bear in mind that caustic soda releases choking fumes when it's mixed with water. So it's always advisable that you put on a face mask when in use. Okay, now the next on our list is our nitro soap. What we have here is 1 over 8 kg. And as you can see, it is slightly yellowish in color. Now this particular agent can be used in producing different productions like your toilet wash, your liquid soap, your hand wash, etc. You name it. Soul is actually known to be that particular agent that cleans and serves as a thickener as well. It can be mixed with either cold or warm water to give you that crystal clear solution you want. Now, the third chemical on our list today is called sodium carbonate, but it's popularly called sodium soda ash in most chemical shops. And as you can see, it actually looks like salt. The quantity of soda ash we have here today is just one over four, which is actually sold for 100 naira in my area. If soda ash is actually a cleaning and thickening agent that helps to soften hard water. Soda ash actually enhances the washing performance of soap. And it may interest you to know that this is actually gotten from plants and seeds. The fourth chemical on our list today is called sodium lauryl sulfate, popularly called SLS. And as you can see, it actually looks like tiny grains of rice. The quantity I have here today is 1 over 8 kg. Now, SLS is mostly used in productions like liquid soap, shampoo, hand wash, you know, etc. Please note that SLS is a very effective forming agent that helps break surface tension and allow other chemicals to better interact. The next on our list is our sodium tripolyphosphate popularly called STPP. The whitish chemical that looks exactly like milk. The quantity of STPP I have here with me is 1 over 4 kg, which is sold for 100 naira in my area. STPP is a cleaning and thickening agent that is odorless and water soluble. Our sixth chemical for today is our methanol. As you can see, it's colorless because it looks exactly like water. I have before me today half liter, which is sold for 215 naira in my area. You see, methanol is actually an absorbing and diluting agent, which can be used in products like your air freshener, your nail polish, etc. Please note that as colorless, as this chemical may seem to you, it can also be very dangerous. Please, methanol should never be inhaled or ingested because even a little quantity, as tiny as a teaspoon, can cause blindness. Now, the seventh chemical on our list today is called paraffin oil. As you can see, this is half liter 
and it goes for 450 naira in Nigeria. Paraffin oil is actually a skin lubrication agent which can be used in productions like your hair cream, your vaselines and other body creams. You may wish to note that paraffin oil actually helps to provide a layer of oil on your skin which now helps it to prevent um, water from evaporating from the surface of your skin. That is one benefit of this oil. The next on our list today is our sulfonic acid. As you can see, it is a dark brownish chemical that looks exactly like honey. Now, what I have here is half liter and it's sold for 450 naira in my area. Sulfonic acid is a foaming and cleaning agent which helps to neutralize the basic effect of caustic soda. Caustic soda, as you know, is a very harsh chemical. The ninth chemical on our list today is our texaco. What I have here today is 1 over 8. I've told us how we get the exact kg. It's just you sharing 1 kg into 8 equal parts. Now this is 1 over 8 and it's sold for 300 naira in my area. Sulfon is actually a foaming booster agent that allows non-polar materials like oil to dissolve in water. Ever wonder how oil dissolves in soapy water? Texapone is actually the cause of it. And to get the best of Texapone, it's always advised you mix it together with your sulfonic acid in any production this to fine. The tenth chemical on our list today is called carbolic acid, which looks exactly like heated red oil. And the quantity I have here with me is 1 over 8, sold for 320 naira in my area. Carbolic acid is actually a disinfectant and antiseptic agent, which is used mostly in isal production. Carbolic acid is actually a highly disinfectant chemical and also very poisonous. The next chemical on our list is Lysol. As you can see, it looks like grape juice. Take a close look. Now, the quantity I have here today is 1 over 4, and this is sold, 1 over 4 kg, I mean, and this is sold for 320 naira in my area. Lysol is a disinfectant and sanitizing agent which is used in Isal production. Please note that Lysol is actually very effective for the cleaning of germs and bacteria. The chemical on our list is a solid chemical that looks exactly like camphor and it's called paraffin wax. Now this is actually 1 over 8 kg and it's sold for 200 naira in my area. Paraffin wax is mostly used in Vaseline production. It is actually a moisturizing and pain relieving agent. You see, the next chemical on our list is called petroleum jelly. Even before use, you can see it looks like Vaseline. And what we have here today is quarter kg, which is sold for 300 naira in my area. Petro petroleum jelly is a very effective agent for the healing and prevention of cracked and dry skin. It might interest you to know that petroleum jelly has been used by people of different races and ages for over 140 years. Now the 14th chemical on our list is our lamonine. As you can see it looks light brownish in color and is thick as well. What we have here is just a spoon, a spoonful, and it's sold for 300 naira in my area. Lanolin is actually a moisture absorbing agent that is very good at preventing dry skin. Actually used in a wide range of shampoos and skin creams. It's very important to add to. The next chemical on our list is our vitamin E. As you can see, it also it looks like grapefruit as well, but oily this time around. And um, this is actually sold for 500 naira, and the kg of this is 50 mil. This is 50 mil sold for 500 naira in my area. 
Vitamin E is actually known as a skin protector that contains a highly effective skin protecting properties. Next chemical on our list is our pine oil. As you can see, it looks exactly like vegetable oil, so you have to be very careful, please. So the quantity we are using today is 1 over 8, and this is sold for 440 naira in my area. Pan, pine oil actually is a mild antiseptic agent that is mostly used in the oil production. It is very effective against household germs and other causing bacteria. The next chemical on our list is our glycerin. What I have here with me is 450 ml, sold for 259 in my area. It is odorless, it's colorless, and it's non toxic. Glycerin serves as a moisturizer and it's a natural addition to soap and cosmetic products. This chemical on our list today is our PK oil, known as Pampana oil. This is actually cut out the liter and is sold for 200 naira in my area. PK oil is a great agent that adds hardness and leather to bar soap. It also helps to give conditioning properties to bar soap. The 19th chemical on our list is called sodium benzoate and this is actually 1 over 16 kg sold for 200 naira in my area. So sodium benzoate as you can see looks exactly like baking powder. It's a highly effective preservative that is used in the production of body cream and body wash. Now the 20th chemical on our list is called formalin. As you can see it looks exactly like water. It's colorless. Now before you is actually 200 ml and this is sold for 250 naira in my area. Formalin is actually a preservative which is used in productions like uh, liquid soap, toilet was for production of uh, products you use on your body. Well, formalin here isn't. As a matter of fact, some people find this agent here very harmful. As much as this is not used for the skin, do you know one weird thing about formalin? It's actually used for the preservation of corpse. In other words, this is used mostly in mortuary to preserve papers. Now, the 21 chemical we have on our list is called mental crystal. Looking at it very well, you see it also looks like crystals in it. Now, this is a small wrap that is sold for 300 naira in my area. You see, mental is a soothing and cooling agent that is used mostly in the production of your hair cream, your hand wash, air freshener. Remember when you put your hair cream and it feels a little bit peppish? Now this is what does that magic for you. You see, the next on our list, which is our 22 chemical, is called industrial soap. As you can see, it actually looks like soap. But please, let's all be warned and guided here. It is never to be tested. So I have here half kg, which is sold for 215 naira in my area. You see, industrial salt helps to reduce the harsh strength of chemicals used in the production of beauty and cosmetic products. Now, the second to the last uh, list of chemicals we have today is called calcium hypochlorite, popularly known as HCU. As you can see, it looks like oats. So, this is actually half kg and it's sold for 350 in my area. Remember, our prices differ based on our areas, but in my area, this goes for 350 naira. HTH is a bleaching and disinfecting agent that also serves as the main chemical in the production of bleach. This chemical you see here has a 10 year shelf life when stored in a cool, dry place. So, our uh, number 24 chemical which we have here is our last but not the least called a hydrochloric acid popularly known as HCl right before you is um, one liter which is sold for 1000 naira 
Hydrochloric acid is actually a very dangerous acid, but very effective and it releases a lot of fumes when in use. And this is one of those chemicals that you must put on a mask when in use. HCL is also called a workhorse chemical. Why? Because it is used in a wide range of cleaning products. HCL can be used in products like your toilet cleaners, your towel cleaners, and other very stubborn stain removals. It may also interest you to know that HCL is used in the medical field for the treatment of low acidity in the stomach. It may also interest you to know that as humans, we all have very little concentrations of HCL in our stomach, which aids in the function of food digestion. And please, like I said earlier, this is a very dangerous but yet effective chemical. Always make sure you put on your face mask, your hand gloves when you use it, when you when it's in use. And lastly, please put it out of the reach of children and pets in the house. Wow. We have just gone over 24 production chemicals, their functions and their uses in your product formulation. But bear in mind that we still have other chemicals you will encounter in your productions like chemicals like sodium sulfate, sodium silicate, borax, it's like a potassium hydroxide, phenol, hydrogen peroxide and others. I also wonder why I have these chemicals tied up in leather like this. Well, I did this because I know so well that when you go to chemical shops to buy your chemicals, this is how they present it to you. So I'm trying to relate more with you. Proper understanding and knowledge of these chemicals, you will know what exactly each does in any production and how you can even combine them to produce unique products. Now, talking about combining chemicals, I've received lots of inquiries from asking if I have any training guide or manual. A training guide that can teach them in details how to produce different products. And this inquiries has led me to revisit a handout I had lying in my computer hard drive. Guess what? I have decided to package a training guide with my over three years experience in this business, giving you all the detailed information you need to produce very unique products, quality one, and make sure you succeed in this business. And this information actually includes how you can package a very sexy product and market them successfully. You will get tested and practical formulas on how to produce 20 different fast selling products and these are the same formulas I use in producing my own unique products that my customers keep buying from me again and again and again and I this training guide will be ready in a couple of days and I will most definitely keep you informed about it and like I said in my last message to you let the business ideas keep flowing in your head and so until I come your way again next time, I remain your number one do-it-yourself advocate. Remember, I'm just here to make sure you get it right. Save money, get money. We need it all in this country.